God loves you. That's how much God will love you forever. God says, I love Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I love you. before you yet again um there is a spirit of gratitude ooh, ooh. and gratefulness uh, for this season that we're in you know we 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 like to make sure you all know what time it is do you know what time it is <laughs> and as um <laughs> and as the you know like the intro was playing and everything and we were just looking because we we could see what you all see it was like, a, you know, we were just like, man, we wouldn't want to do it with nobody else. Like, that's that's my that's my G right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, that was just a little sidebar, but let's get right back on um, Target. Tonight, we are talking about Sukkot. Wow. Okay, and... We don't want to go any further. Let's go ahead and pray <laughs> before I felt myself about to go in. You about to die but in. I know, but Holy Spirit, He's like, pause, pause. So before we begin to pray, I want you guys to share this out, share this out, share this out to others so they can partake upon this feast. And oh wow, no pun intended. Um, and so this is. <laughs> One of the feasts of the Lord that he has, um, he, he, he has, uh, commanded us to keep. So, share, share, share. We have, a, we have some good food for you on tonight. And so, we're going to open up in prayer. Okay. So, gracious Father, <laughs> oh. we thank you in <laughs> thank the name you, of God. Jesus, Lord God. We thank you for this time yes. of happiness, for Hallelujah. joy, Lord God. Yes, I God. mean, joy, the Lord, is our strength. Yes, and God. during this time of Sukkot, it is a time of celebration. celebration. So, thank God, you, we God. just thank you. Uh, Thank you, for God. the joyous heart, Lord God. We will celebrate in spite of. We yes, will celebrate, Lord of, God, God, and just have Hallelujah. our hearts and our minds focused on you. And we thank you, thank Lord you. God, for you know atoning our sins, Lord yes. God, for drawing Hallelujah. us near to you. We experienced so much stuff, Glory. Lord God. Force, you renewed your lease upon the yes. world. Oh, then, Hallelujah. Lord God, you took care of uh, our sins. Yeah. And he did that through Jesus. Yes, and he you did. atoned for all he the sins it. of the world. But yes, during that time, Lord God, we remember uh, what you've done for us, Lord God. And sometimes we can even do things and sin without even knowing it. Oh, but Lord God, God, we presented all those things oh, my before goodness, the altar, God, Lord God. We thank you. And you took care of it. We thank you. You took care of it, God. Hallelujah. So now, as we come out of that time, yes. that day of atonement, that day of fasting, yes. Lord God, that day, Lord God, that you took care of us, Heavenly Father, yes, now God. it is a time to rejoice. Rejoice. It is a time to rejoice. So we thank you for what you're doing, what you're presenting, yes, God. how you are opening up the doors for us, Lord God, yes, and what God. you're continuing to do with yes, BBD God. Hill Ministries, Hallelujah. Heavenly Father. So Be we glorified. thank you. We glorify you yes, God. in Jesus' name. And we pray and we say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Let's just up, give God peace? some glory and praise. I mean, we are excited. Apostle was uh, already just praying that and thanking the Lord. This is a time of celebration. Okay. Um, so many things God has done. And we just came through those things, you know, some of those those appointed times, whereas he did some miraculous things for us. And so now that we are inscribed and sealed, now we rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Okay, so um, again, we're talking about Sukkot. And um, some people, can, you know, um, 
refer to it as the Feast of Tabernacles, okay? And this was a, a supernatural, this was a time where God supernaturally provided for his people. And, and so that he, he had them to stay in temporary booths or temporary shelters when he brilliantly and mightily brought his people out of bondage, brought his people out of Egypt. See, God knows how to, he knows how to do it. He does it big, okay? Nobody can doubt him. Nobody can, you know, try to take any type of credit for what he does because it's just too big for a man to do. So and we, when they try to take care, he just to take credit for. It, he just move them out the come way. Come on, <laughs> it's like, so no, you can't be involved in it. Come on, that's that's good. <laughs> so note to self: don't try to take God's glory. Okay, so I'm I'm going to I, I'm without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Apostle to just start giving you you know some of the meat, you know, because um, I just love to hear him just really just expound upon it and just talk about it. And um, so, Apostle, what you got? What you got for us? So, guys, a lot of great stuff on today. And I'm going to try not to go too deep, but I get excited yes. in there. And once again, we say that this is for a nugget. Mm. Uh, but, you know, there's so much revelation uh, within this uh, Sukkot. And a lot of yes. times people don't know about it. Uh, or they like, oh, well, what is it? I never heard of it, but it is in the word of it God. Is. And we are going to get to that point where we're going to talk about that. But also with Sukkot uh, is, you know, remember and rejoice. So this is what I want you to do is remember and rejoice when it comes to the time of Sukkot. God has always told us a lot of times, come on, remember, mm, remember, remember. How many times have I even said that on here? Remember, remember. when he says this is a permanent law. We should remember, remember it. You know, mm -hmm. sure enough, we understand what Jesus did and how everything aligns to him. But we have to remember. So if God said it's a permanent mm -hmm. law for you, yes. then that means, well, I don't know about you, but if you take a permanent mark and put it on something, right. it it's, ain't coming out a lot of stuff. Permanent. You might as well throw it. It's permanent. <laughs> so we think about that when he says that about us, that mm -hmm. it is permanent. Yes. It is something for us to remember and keep, and I'm telling you guys, since we have been doing these things for these years, uh, 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 God has permanently blessed us huh. in ways that we cannot even imagine. Even because he said, if stress. you do this, if yes. you keep this, his, I mean, he didn't change on his stance. Mm -mm. And that's the thing is, is that we somehow in our mind, we get so deep. Oh, the New Testament. Oh, this. Oh, I mean, I mean we understand the purpose of that. Yes. But there are certain things that God said, I am going to still continue to bless you if you yep. do this. This is a window of opportunity for mm -hmm. you to get to get blessed. It's a window. It's an opportunity. Do you have to have it? No. Right? Because it's, it's an opportunity that does not... Uh, interfere or um, negate salvation, but it, it is. Not. It does not. Oh my goodness! But why not? Don't be ashamed before the Father when we go before Him and He said, "Oh, I had all these blessings for you, mm -hmm. and you just missed mm -hmm. them. You just, you know, mm -hmm. you you didn't, you know, you and, and it wasn't because that you didn't know. And that's why God is having us here to teach, to to inform. Yes, a lot of this these things people may have not have heard about um, or were not taught because, even though it's in the word of God. And that's why, you know, Behold Christian Center, we, 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 um, are ex we are thankful to God that we teach the whole Bible because all of it is inspiration from, from God, right? To end, right? All of it, not, not, in I mean, the beginning. right? It, all of it is. All of it is, all all of it is prophetic. Revelation 21. So we, go, <laughs> we go all of 22 or 23. Right. Whatever it is that Come last, on. Chapter, last chapter is. We go all the way through. Yes. So, and, and, and so I'm going to turn it back over to you because I don't want to interfere, but with this, I want you guys to really get this, but I want you to understand that all of the word is relative. All of it is important. And it's not just certain parts. It's for certain people and other parts is for other people. God does, is not an no. author of confusion. No. I mean, he does not. That's confusing to me. 
Um, and so with that, I just want you to just let's feast and really understand all of the word. And um, a lot of it was because people didn't understand it. So they didn't teach about it. You know, because it's in the Old Testament. And I know I used to hear about um, people used to preach about Daniel and, you know, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and all those other things. Oh. And this is also in the That's word. That's favorite, yeah. Right. And, and it was because... <laughs> they wasn't messing with that Leviticus, though. <laughs> or, right. or that Deuteronomy. Right. They, 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 they touched like, on there for a second. Like, they what's was like, this? no, this ain't, this ain't open up the, collect, uh, the, 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 the collection plate. Right. But it's, it's, it's so much like, deeper than that. It is God's word. It's his word. It's his word, y'all. And let's just fall in love with all of him. Not just part of it, all of his word. He is he is not divorced from his word. He is connected Ooh, to like his that. word. I like his that. word. That's good. That's you know, good. that is his word. Jesus is the word. So we say we love Jesus. Right? Yeah. I mean, we say we love Jesus. If we say that we're Christ, word, right? we have to embrace his word. So, okay, Apostle, I'm, I'm uh, going to come that's back um, on, the, on the path. Uh, Sukkot. Okay, go but ahead. But you know what, though? Uh, I do want to touch on one thing that you, you stated, and it, mm -hmm. it just stirred something on the inside of me. Uh, you know, we just have to understand um, that when it comes to that, we state all the time, Jesus did these things. Mm -hmm. So if Jesus did these things, if Jesus celebrated these things, uh, sometimes we try to negate the fact, the world tries to neg negate the fact that he was mm. a Jew, and he was, and he yes. celebrated these things. He did yeah. these things. Okay. But if you read through the Bible with the Jewish mindset, you will see different things that you miss. Yeah. And ask Holy Spirit to right. reveal it to you. But you will miss things. Mm -hmm. uh, like even with the Shemitah, you will miss things. Because mm -hmm. even the people, they were punished because they did not follow that commandment that God had told them to. It was so many different things. Oh so it begins to expand your knowledge and expand your awareness so that you can be in position. And especially, I don't know about you, but, you know, after going through all that, that we went through and preparing and, and, and the head of the new year, and now mm -hmm. during that new year, after new year, we are celebrating. We We're are in a happy time. And we are remembering. So I'm going to mm -hmm. touch bases, you know, on that too. So um, first of all, you know, Sukkot also is known as what? Festival of Tabernacles uh, or a Festival of Booths, so whichever one. So, you know, Sukkot simply means a booth. So when we think about just these these things that, the, the, well, the, 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 uh, these things, uh, God always wanted them to remember. Come on. So let, let me get into some scripture here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go to my... Uh, Thank to the Word. Yeah, to the Word. Okay. Can you go to my next slide, please? Thank you. All right, I got my little technician one on there. He's <laughs> handling it for me today, and that's the other B and BBD. Right. Amen. So on the first day, uh, let's see here. On the first day, gathered branches from magnificent trees, palms, fronds, broads of leafy trees, and willows that grow by the streams. Then celebrate with joy before the Lord your God for seven days. Uh, you must observe these festivals to the Lord for seven days every year. This is a permanent law for you. Once again, we get into this permanent. I don't know why all of a sudden y'all done took the permanent out of permanent, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a permanent law for it's you permanent. and it must be observed in the appointed mm. months from generation to generation. generation. Go to the next slide. Next slide. Thank you. All right. For seven days, you must live outside in what little shelters all native born Israelites must live in shelters. Then this will remain. This will remind each generation of Israelites that I made their ancestors mm. live in shelters. When I rescued them from the land of Egypt, I am the Lord. Come your on. God. Yes. So Moses gave the Israelites these instructions regarding the animals festivals of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And this is in Leviticus, the 23rd chapter Come on. from the 40th through the 44th verse. So it is in the word yes, of it God. Is. It definitely so is. once again, we go to this point of just simply remembering, mm -hmm. uh, you know, during this period of 40 years, uh, we have to understand that God was enough. He was. I Come mean, on. That was just it. He was enough. 
you know, I, I don't know how people just want to take him out of the equation, but he was their beginning. He right. was their ending. He was their middle. He was, I mean, he was everything. He was, he, right. He, go ahead. I mean, no, I, I just want to say he was more than enough. Ah, come on. I mean, now. just go ahead. I just want to put that in there because God is just not enough. He is more than, and so he, and he showed himself to be more than for his people during this time. So, okay, go, Apostle, go ahead, go ahead, go so ahead. So when we Not think that. about when he talked about the remembrance, see, it was so profound mm-hmm. what God had done to them. And he's, he still continues to do that. He still continues to provide for us. So they were in hostile conditions. So they were in the wilderness. When mm-hmm. you are in the wilderness, when you are in the desert, everything is short. <laughs> Water, food. I Come mean, on. just, just the, the things that we need to survive, uh, they are in limited quantity mm-hmm. when you are in the wilderness, when yes. you are in the desert, desert. type situations. Yes. But yet and still, God maintained them maintained for them. 40 years. So he provided the manna. Oh, he provided the quail. Yes. He provided the water. Come on. I mean, he did all these At, things yes. for them. And God is saying, remember, remember, don't forget how I provided for you. And it's important because, Woo! you know, when we lose the testimony, mm, and this mm. is important, this is why our testimonies are important. When we lose the testimony, there's a generation mm. that forgets how oh. good God is. So it becomes important for Come us on. to talk to our we kids. Have it becomes to. important for them to tell them how God has mm. brought us through, what he's done. And this is why Shabbat is so important yes. because we talk about what? How oh, good, good God is. God has been towards for the week, and then we thank him for even a greater Greater week week to come. So all these things become important. So Uh, he still says, remember. Remember Remember how I fed you. Remember, remember. And then uh, then remember how I gave you extra on the sixth day so you wouldn't be gathering on the seventh day. And even when man tried to do too much and gather too mm. much, it would spoil what happened? on them. Come on. But he said, no, don't be trying to think like, well, I got to get this because I don't know if it's going to be. No, he said, I'm going to, to take, take care, care of you. you. That's, that's it. what he wants that, to do And that's it. That's why he mm. made it to spoil because you, they were dependent they on him. And God wants us to solely be dependent. I know the world tells you you should be independent. I know. Everybody, I'm independent and people <laughs> walk around with a badge of honor like independence. Don't nobody yes, take care right. of me. I oh, take, that's a lie. Right. I mean, honestly. And so we thank the Lord. I'm grateful. I've been in a place of gratefulness but because even when I did not honor him, I did not know uh, I needed uh, him, he still took he still, care of in me. In my foolishness. Oh my goodness. Right. And even the more now, so now that I know better, know better, <laughs> I more, have right? to do better and it's even more better. And so more better. it's more better. <laughs> because of the gratefulness, it opens up the opportunities. And I know I'm not the only one. There was a time when we weren't committed to the Lord. So there was a time when we didn't even know the Lord. There was a time when we thought that we were doing it and it was always the Lord providing, protecting. Mm. So we just thank the Lord for those times, but then we thank him for now that we are aware, that we are aware of our dependency on him. And it is not a thing to be ashamed of. It is a great honor to be dependent upon the Lord. Um. So, okay, like I, y'all, you know I've been gone. I will just take it. But let me give it right back. I'm giving right back to the man of God so he can take us on this journey, continue us on this journey. Okay. So, uh, once again, it, it is definitely great stuff here. So, what? So, we talked about the man. He provided them with food, he provided mm-hmm. them with the quail, he provided them with water. But also, one important thing that he did was he provided them with direction. Uh, and this was, you know, powerful within mm. that. Uh, he provided them with direction. Exodus 13, uh, 21 through 22. Uh, states, the Lord went ahead of them, and he guided them during the day Come with on. the pillar of cloud, and he yeah. provided light at night mm-hmm. with the pillar of fire, mm-hmm. right? This allowed them to travel day or by night. The Lord did not remove the pillar of cloud or pillar of fire from its place in front of the people. So I just wanted to just read Did y'all, y'all heard that? And I know we have heard that before. Go ahead. But just no, think about ahead, it. In, no, in. but that, just think about how God, he was the light. He provided the light. 
He provided, you know, everything they needed. And just think about it. This was a time, y'all. Let's just think. Na let's just think um, naturally in a sense. You know, we have hospitals. We have all these different things. This was a time there were no hospitals. There were no, um, all, you know, um, grocery stores. I mean, they all of that. And God took, supernaturally took care of his people. People. They mean, didn't have a refrigerator. On. They didn't have to keep food. Really, I mean, God just provided it every day. They all just had to keep it from that one day because God, God is not gonna um, give us a request or request us to do something or command us to do something that He will not provide the provision to get it done to accomplish it. And so He did not want them to um, to come out and to. Um, get the manor on during the Sabbath. So he provided what they needed. Listen, come on, let's remember this. Come on, I want you to get into a place of gratitude because of how God took care of you. A lot of times we are not mindful of no, just the no. daily things, the basic necessities that we that we so take for granted. But let your water, let them, um, you know, you don't have no water, no running water. Man, you would quickly. <laughs> let, it changes right. Really right, let something happen and something that something happen with that water. And it ain't got to be about not paying the bill when they right. do maintenance. They shut off right. the water. Right, exactly. You be like, man, I can't flush the I toilet. Can't, what? Can't, <laughs> I mean, just just simple things that we just take for granted, and we just thank the Lord because He provides all of these things for us. So I just want you guys to get excited about this time. I want you to think about. Listen, this is a time not to think about what you don't have, but to be grateful for what you do have because God provided it and he knows our needs. And if you don't have it, maybe you just don't need it. Mm. Oh, did you hurt? Okay, me? I'm just going. Okay, Apostle, go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's get into this. So we just think about think about just the coverage aspect of it. He said he was the the, the the pillar of cloud by night and the pillar of cloud the pillar of fire by night. I mean the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar uh, the pillar of fire by night. So no matter what their situation was, uh, they had guidance. Come on. They yes. had direction. Uh, and a lot of times we think that, you know, direction is only temporary. But if we follow mm. the Lord, mm, he mm. provides us direction during our day, Come on, on our work, on yes. our job, with our family, on Amen. the road to whatever. Yes, there has yes. been times that God has redirected me. I was driving one way and I thought it was just an error that I made a mistake. But God was directing yes, me Ooh. away from an accident. Yes. He was directing me away from trouble. So we think about all these things. And even at night. Uh, he covers and pri uh, 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 provides us direction. Mm -hmm. You think about when there's darkness, you don't move until there's light. Mm -hmm. And fire brings light in darkness. So when we think about just the understanding of that, mm -hmm. that when there's light, we're able to move. We're able to see. We're able to proceed. So mm -hmm. he did all of that for them. And it just didn't even stop there. This is where the remembrance part becomes Come on, important. Remember, man. So what did remember. he do? He said, for 40 years, I led you through the wilderness. And he said, yet your clothes and your sandals did not wear out. This was powerful. He said, I, I led you through this. Come on. Come on. He this said, I led it. you through this. I led you. Come on. Go, go, He go. said, I led you through this. And your clothes didn't wear out. Sometimes we just don't understand the aspect of how mm -hmm. God keeps us. Mm -hmm. I mean, since I just really got a revelation of understanding, my clothes last longer. It's like I wind up giving away stuff right. because of the fact that, and it still be and like in good, new good, condition. Good, very so good. So he keeps condition. you, and he, yes. keep, he gives you a mindset, mm -hmm. number one, of how to take, take care, care of, of it. stuff. Come on. So that's why <laughs> shoes can last for yes. four, five, six, ten years. Man. I got shoes older than my son almost, I believe, right. in my closet right now. But those things can last <laughs> for that long. Mm -hmm. And it's not because you were just, I mean, it's. Mm, mm, mm. It's God's goodness. It's, it just is. Come on, let's just give honor to whom honor is due. Give him his due because it is him. We cannot do it. I know you think you... I know, <laughs> I know, I know. But listen, doesn't it make it easier when you realize that you don't have to do it? That you could just lean and depend on the Lord? 
Listen, God wants to free us. I mean, he's not doing, he, he wants us to just enjoy. He wants us to enjoy him, you know, and that does not mean that we will not have challenges. Yeah. But in those times, that. you know, in those times, then we, you know, we know that he still is a provider. I want to believe that his people did not necessarily want to live in temporary booths. You know how, even though the Lord has given us shelter, hey, this ain't what I really want. <laughs> you know. I don't know how this is working I, out for me. Right. I, I really don't want this. I want something else. I want my own. I want this. I want it to be like this. I want it to be like that. But God wants us to just be content in what he has provided for us. And, you know, that becomes important to content but also um, mm -hmm. our dependency upon him. Uh, this is the time that it reminds us of our dependency. When he mm -hmm. talks about remember, we remember that we can't do it without we the Lord. We cannot. We, I mean, we just simply can't. Say, if we don't have dependency on him, then there's no way he can move in our lives. I mean, it's just it's just no way that he mm -hmm. can do it. Mm -hmm. We simply have to depend on him. And we people think that you just sound crazy. And you be like, well, God did this. Or well, God did that. Or well, Jesus did this. Mm -hmm. Jesus did that. The Holy Spirit did Come this. On. The Holy Spirit did that. They be like, well, didn't you do anything for yourself? No. Nope. <laughs> but Nope. But you know what? My thing is, is that I like, I mean, I like being taken care of. Right. But I'm you know a well what? kept man. Right. You, you definitely are. But you know what? Go you ahead. know what we did do for ourselves? What's that? We were willing and obedient mm -hmm. and we were able to receive from the Lord. That's what I did. I was, <laughs> I was able to receive <laughs> and I did and I was, and I was willing to do whatever he told me to do. Mm. You know, because even with this, let's go back to that. Because there was a part for the his people. Yeah. You know, he was providing, but they had a part to play. They had to be obedient. They had to trust. You know, and so in that, that is our part. That is our part, to trust that the Lord would provide. They had to, they had to believe that the Lord would give them what they needed each mm -hmm. and every day. I mean, um... Our Father, which I in heaven, holy be thy name. You know, give us this day our daily bread. Thank you. I had to begin. Y'all know, I had, <laughs> I had to begin yeah, reciting from the beginning right so I could get it. Mm -hmm. But this is what they did. And this is what Jesus told us how to pray. God, give us this day our daily mm -hmm. bread. Our daily bread. Not to be concerned about what I'm going to eat tomorrow, but today, God, mm -hmm. you will provide. Mm -hmm. Today and that's where he showed through supernaturally through his people that every day I'm able. I'm able. I'm able. I am every that day. I am is able to provide for you. Child support don't have to come after him. He's gonna <laughs> take care of his children. Okay, I'll just that's sad. That, that was good. That, that's that, that was, that was so, <laughs> so you know, we have to understand this is that Every window opens up something different. So mm -hmm. let, let, let's go here. Let me explain this to you. So Passover, it opens up what? Grace, protection, favor. Pentecost opens up wisdom, mm -hmm. anointing, prosperity. And Sukkot, it opens up what? The former reign, the latter reign, the rebuke of the devourer. Wow. So when we you think about it, this time was a time of harvest where, you know, God had blessed them and that mm. it was a season of abundance uh, because they uh, had uh, all their fruits. They had all of their grain, all these mm, different mm, things mm, that he mm. would bless them with. Mm, uh, mm, so he mm. was setting them up for something that was powerful. So it was a joyous season. Come so imagine on. when you got a when you got a house full of food, your refrigerator is full of food, it becomes a joyous occasion. Right. I don't know about you, but I get excited like, man, yeah. I'm thinking about what I'm going to eat tomorrow, right. what That's I'm going to put together, yeah. what I'm going to do this. We like to gonna, eat. Yeah, we like to eat. But, you know, we still have to remember who blessed us with the food. And he's saying all the time, remember, 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 remember what I've done to you. Because the moment that you stop remembering, mm. I comes into the equation. And then I get you in trouble every mm. single time. Ask Nebuchadnezzar. 
<laughs> it's an mm. action that he kept trying to put. Oh, I, I really, no, God was allowing for you to do, do these that. things Come for on, a time being. And he warned you on it. Yes. That I have done this for you. And he said, I won too many times. Too many times. And he went crazy after that. So when we think about that, yeah. you know, we That's have good. to just understand and remember, remember, remember. A lot of times people just want to forget. No, you cannot forget, you forget how good God is for you. And then when you tell him about what he did for our uh, brothers and sisters, this is how he brought the Israelites out. And you tell that story. You tell that testimony. And then you add your own testimony Come on. behind it. Let us know. So I'm going to tell you what he did for your dad. I'm going to tell mm. him what he did for me, son. So mm. you can mm. know to stay with him. Good. To stay encouraged. Yeah. Never leave him. And always remember. And then we'll have a generation that's not running wild Come like on. they are. Because they will remember God's remember. commandments. They remember his love. They wouldn't be out there trying to steal and, and just, just cause physical harm to people. And all these things that we're seeing in our society today. But why are those things happening? Because they have forgot about God. Have forgotten about God. And we just opened up a portal for s spiritual you know, demon, d demonization. I, but that's a whole nother. That, that's, that's a whole nother that's discussion. A, that's another discussion. But. And, 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 and we are going to begin to talk about mm. other things as we come. Yes. You know, because uh, between Sukkot and Hanukkah is about a couple months. So we mm -hmm. will be talking about other things mm -hmm. when we come mm -hmm. live to you guys. But, you know, we want you to remember that during this time of Sukkot, uh, as we remember uh, and uh, as we rejoice, God, he rebukes the devourer. He rebukes the devourer. Come he on. That for, How many uh, of us need him to rebuke the devourer? We need him to. The devourer wants to come and devour. He wants to devour you, your kids, mm. your home, your finances, your everything. He wants to devour. Do you just think about devour? Like if you think of the word devour, it's like after it's it's like it's just like it's just completely gone. <laughs> like devour. Um, so we need the Lord. We need the Lord to do this for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have, we, we have a champion. We have a champion to do the hard oh, lifting. I like that. We have a champion. Mm -hmm. Who to, he does the hard lifting y'all. Stop, stop, work, stop working so hard and just trust hard. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and we're about to wrap up here in a second. Mm. So I just want to talk about just those windows that I spoke about that God has opened up. Yeah. So we talk about the former rain. We thank him for the position that we're mm. in right mm. now. And I don't know about you, but God has blessed a lot of believers who have remained faithful. They're in a good position. When you think about it, you be like, well, it's not where I want to be. Are you alive? That's a good position. That's a Do you have activities of your limbs? Are you yeah. able to move around? Are you in your right mind? Yeah. That's a good position to be in. Mm -hmm. So we thank God for the former rain that brought us into Ooh, where we are that's right good. now. But then here's the key that goes even more. Uh, during that seven days of celebration, they would thank God for the latter rain. So they would thank him for, because they would thank him for the rain that would come for that crops that would be prepared to harvest uh, as they go into the new That's year. So good. they would thank him for the good. former rain and the, the latter, latter rain. rain. So it would be an awesome time of rejoicing and they would, uh, 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 as they say, praise him in advance. Come on, praise him. So, so they would thank him in advance for what is to come. And I don't know about you, but I've learned how to praise God in in advance, advance. before in it advance. even come. Yes. I'm praising him for what is to come, thanking him for what is to come, because I know that he is going to hold mm -hmm. toward his word. Come he on. is going to hold yes. toward his promises. And one of the things he says is that your ladder shall, shall what? Be greater. Shall be greater. Your so ladder. they would be thanking God because he's blessed them with all these different things and they begin to celebrate. Rejoice. Come on, before the Lord. Rejoice, Rejoice. before the Lord. Woo! And then I like how he says he rebukes the devourer. Because mm -hmm. you can make all and be in abundance all you want, but if the devourer so comes come and take devours it, it, it's gone. You're at square one. You're at square one. And that devourer doesn't have to be locusts. It don't have to right. be anything else that nature. Like we talk about the old time. Come on, that's but good. you know, we think about and we are and you need to go check out Big Old Ministry, but I'm in the series of Gideon and Behold, they Christian about Center. how the Midianites came and they were like a swarm of locusts and they took 
everything from them. Yeah. But why? They was not acknowledging God. They had moved away. They were not doing what was required of them to do. Yeah. And God allowed for the devourer, the which devourer. was the Midianites, and the other people that came besides to them to devour. come and devour. So yes. when we don't remember, when we don't, and then we start to begin to put I in there, then God just be like, you know what? This, 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 this protection that I have around you, I'm just going to simply just remove Exactly, because you don't need my protection, because you got it. You got it, because <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> right. You put I into the situation. And he said, I am. And now you are saying, I am that I am. Oh my I God. am. So Ooh. which one is I am? No. Is it us or is it him? And I'm, I'm going to go with him. I'm going with him. And I pray that you do the same. <laughs> Because I know that I can't do it. Wow. And I wouldn't even want to if I could. No. Because he got it. So I could keep going, but I'm going to stop. Yes. Right here. Well, that's enough for you guys on today. I but know. understand the window mm -hmm. that is open. So I do want to you know, talk about a couple different things here. So now uh, when we think about that, this is an opportunity uh, for us to present our offering before the yes. Lord. And you can the do that, uh, your first fruits, uh, through BBD Heal Ministries, uh, especially if this message, you never knew about this, and mm -hmm. God opened this. This yes. is the window of opportunity for you to get this understanding. Uh, but you have these seven days to present your offering uh, before the Lord. Mm -hmm. While the window is open, he said, you know, trust me. Yes. He talks about that Come in Malachi. On. Come on. You know, see, when I pour you out a blessing these that you don't have These are the offerings room. he's Referring to receive. To. So, you know, we understand the tie. Mm -hmm. This has nothing to do with the right. tie, but the offering. offering. You know, we understand that he talks about those being the pilgrimage feasts. Mm -hmm. This is one of those. Whether the pil uh, pilgrimage feasts, Passover, Pentecost, Sukkot, these are the ones that was yes. a requirement for you to go to the place that God told you uh, to what present mm. your offering. So think about that as we do that. We have a few things that we are going to, I have a video that we want to show to you, and uh, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> At BBD Hill Ministries, we want to be a blessing to those who bless us. So at this time, with any gift of $25 or more, you will receive this bracelet that spells out Yeshua in Hebrew and in English. Wearing this, people will know that you serve the one and true living God. For your donation gift of $50 or more, BBD Hill Ministries will send you this mug with the Hebrew alphabet listed. So every day that you drink from this cup, you can learn a Hebrew letter and strengthen your vocabulary. We also will be teaching phrases that you can learn so you soon will be able to speak the Hebrew. Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord. For your donation gift of $75 or more, BBD Hill Ministries will send this pillow letting you know Blessed be the name of the Lord and helping you also in your Hebrew. Keep in mind one important thing, supplies are limited. We thank you for your support and everything that you have done to be a blessing to this ministry. All right, so we gave you guys that information. Welcome back. Uh, you know, once again, uh, I'm going to have prophetess cover some things with you guys uh, going forward from this point. But I want you to remember that uh, you can present your first fruits uh, through BBD Hill Ministries. We will pray over uh, your first fruits uh, and, we, and every uh, offering that is given, uh, no matter the size or how big it is, uh, we will take it seriously as we do every single year and present that offering before the Lord. So. Uh, with that being said, go ahead, baby. Amen. Amen. And so first, I want to thank those that have been a blessing to um, BBD Hill Ministry and have sown into good ground. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, and thank you for your continued support. Um, and I pray that you are sharing this with others where they can be blessed. Amen. And so with that, if we, if this 
program, if this broadcast has been a blessing to you and you and you feel the the, the leading of the Lord, um, you know, God tells us tells us to give honor to whom honor is due. Um, and in that if he's leading you, be obedient. Be obedient because there's a blessing in it. Because what what God gives us an opportunity to give because the Lord can just provide it. You know that? But he wants to see if we will be willing to trust him and to give because he, he we cannot outgive God. And so if this has There's been no way. <laughs> no way. And so if this program has been a blessing to you, we encourage you to be obedient and to give and to sow into good ground. And you we have um several methods of giving and one is cash out um dollar sign bbd heal and then there's zale um at bbd heal ministries at gmail.com and you can see these methods of giving right there on your screen you can screenshot them if i am speaking too fast and you need something repeated you can just screenshot that and um and utilize that um, as the Lord is leading you. And then there's PayPal at BBD Heal. Um, you also can mail a check, money order. Um, I would not encourage mailing cash, um, but you know, We're gonna pray is gonna. <laughs> yeah, it, it will. It, it'll get to us. Um, and if that if that's the way the method you would like, we do offer that. That's a method. Um, that is available to you and you can mail to BBD Hill Ministries 21200 South LaGrange Road number 362 Frankfurt, Illinois 60423 okay and we just thank you um, and once you do give we just ask can you send your information via direct message or email to BBD Hill Ministries at gmail.com we want to personally thank you and we need to be able to know where to send your your gift for donating to us amen and so listen reach out to us okay let's stay connected reach out to us we want to know if you're being blessed we want to know if there's a testimony we want to know if there's something else you would like to hear about you would like to you were curious about you you overheard it somewhere you weren't you didn't quite understand what was going on share those things with us we want to hear from you okay and just stay connected yes like uh you know like us on facebook at bbd hill <laughs> ministry wait a minute where am i yeah i had that up there That's okay just there. but i mean i'm sure they they um yeah, screenshot screenshot yeah. it but i i'm just going to just put it out there That's just fine. in case okay <laughs> follow us on instagram <laughs> bbd hill ministries and youtube bbd hill ministries okay um we do uh, we are looking to put more videos out on YouTube. We're building, and you and your support is helping us to grow. Okay, there's a vision um, that God has put before us, and we are we are pushing to it. We are, oh, we are working. We are, you know, just listening to the Lord and allowing us Him to lead us to the vision. And so, that's all I got. So, with that being said, uh, please remember, you know, your first fruits. Uh, you can uh, bless us. Uh, well, no, you can present your first fruits with that. You can also bless us with any type of donation. We do mm -hmm. have donation gifts, so please get them uh, while they last. Right. Because they are in limited quantity. Yes. And once again, uh, prophets, but I'm going to do that again. I thank those who yes. have donated Thank you, God and, you, bless and you, you receive your gifts and we've seen the smile on your faces when you received your gifts mm -hmm. there are still things that's out there so once again we are in Sukkot this is that time former rain latter rain rebuke the devourer we do not want to miss Come this on, window don't of miss opportunity it.
do not miss it. It's so your inheritance. It's, yeah, it is. It's your it, inheritance. It's your inheritance. It really is. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, we, we actually, I want to thank something real quick. We thank God for our uh, uh, Benjamin. He was working behind the scenes <laughs> right. today. Yes. So he's playing. He's our cameraman. Yes. He's doing a lot of different things. So we thank God for him. Uh, and you need to really build your children up. Speak to them. Just yes. don't let them just sit around and do nothing. Mm-hmm. Just put them to work, right? Put them to work, yeah. for sure. Free for child Lord. labor. No, just definitely. <laughs> for the Lord. You definitely. know it, but it is. I mean, like, we were we were free child labor at one point, so we get to do it. <laughs> you remember having to come outside just to change the TV? Yes, I do. Like, no, we call you, you come in. Right. Out. Yes, mommy, I remember being called throughout the window. I'm outside having a good time playing to come in to change the channel. So, listen, I'm not even going to go there. I remember when. I remember when. Shame on you, parents. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, <laughs> rejoice. We should be in an exceedingly, I mean, we should just really be in a time of rejoice. So when I see people, you should have a smile on, on your, your face. face. Right? So with that being said, this is BBD Hill Ministry. This is Prophetess Demita Hill. Right? I'm like, are you Prophetess? <laughs> I'm just touching my heart. Hey, Prophetess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Prophetess. And we are out. Shalom.